Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Bombardier CS100 complete certification flight testing, the Nextant G90XT is certificated, the second PC24 prototype makes its first flight. I'm Brie Cross, it's November 19th, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. Bombardier Commercial Aircraft has announced that the CS100 aircraft has completed its certification flight testing subject to Transport Canada's final review and acceptance. Concurrently, Bombardier is finalizing the submission of the remaining type certificate documentation for Transport Canada approval. Fred Cromer, President of Bombardier Commercial Aircraft, said, quote, We are executing to plan and are in the final stage before obtaining the CS100 type certificate from Transport Canada, end quote. Rob Dewar, Vice President of the C-Series Aircraft Program, added, quote, It is also very gratifying to see the CS-100 aircraft conducting its route proving exercises and touching down at airports across Canada and in the U.S. The first new aircraft produced for the 100 to 150 seat segment in the last three decades prepares to enter service with Swiss in the first half of 2016, end quote. The FAA has certified the Nextan Aerospace G90 XT turboprop. The remanufactured King Air is powered by GEH 75 engines and features single lever power control, an integrated Garmin G1000 flight deck, digital pressurization, auto start, and a full electronic control system and an aeronautically redesigned cockpit. Jay Hublin, Executive Vice President for Nextstand, said, quote, Just two years ago, we announced the launch of the G90XT program. Our goal was to deliver an entry-level twin-engine turboprop that offered the best combination of overall value, performance, and cabin comfort in the category. We specifically focused on creating the safest single-pilot operating platform in the industry, and the G90XT has exceeded our expectations, end quote. Hublin added that they take a good aircraft and make it a great one. He said that by working with actual operators of the aircraft, they systematically identified potential areas of improvement and delivered solutions to address those items. The airplane will be assembled in Cleveland, Ohio, with production planned beginning next year. After the break, Pilatus adds the second PC-24 to its test fleet. Today's pilots must have power for electronic flight bags, tablets, iPads, and communication devices. The TA-102 dual USB charging port delivers more power with less hassles. Available from your local avionics dealer. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. The second PC-24 prototype has made its maiden flight. The aircraft flew across central Switzerland for a total of 82 minutes. Pilatus says this first flight by the second prototype marks another major step forward in the Pilatus PC-24 development program. This aircraft will be deployed mainly in the USA and in Canada, where it will undergo various system tests and certification flights in partnership with the system suppliers. Special scrutiny will be accorded to the avionics systems and the autopilot, but the program will also include cold weather trials and icing tests. Oscar J. Schwink, chairman of the board of Pilatus Aircraft, said, quote, The PC-24 test flight program is well underway, and we are pleased with the initial results. The PC-24 flies entirely as expected, and we are confident of our ability to achieve, or even exceed, the guaranteed performance, end quote. 
Referred to as a super versatile jet, the PC-24 is the world's first business jet to come equipped with a cargo door as standard. It's Thursday, which means that it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that populate the Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. This week, we're proud to recognize the Women in Aviation International Organization as part of our Airborne Partnership Initiative. Known to all of us as a WAI, this organization is unique in its mission and it knows how to get the job done. The unique thing about WAI is that it represents women in every imaginable facet of aviation and aerospace. It was started in 1990 and was formally established in 1994 to encourage women to seek opportunities in aviation. Only a small percentage of the aviation-related jobs in the U.S. are filled by women and the WAI is working to help women make the impact in aviation that they are capable of. To refer to WAI as an aviation organization is an understatement. Their last annual convention broke attendance records and was represented by just about every aviation and aerospace endeavor. It's an organization that sponsors success for women, and aviation and aerospace is better for it. We are sure our partnership with WAI will be exciting and highly productive. After these messages, NetJet's Challenger 650 to enter service. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude and slip with integral backup battery Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Bombardier and NetJets announced the imminent entry into service of the new Challenger 650 aircraft. The custom-built Signature Series Challenger 650 business jet will also mark Bombardier's 1,000th Challenger 600 Series aircraft to enter into service. Rockwell Collins Air Inc. direct customers flying non-ADSB equipped aircraft can now receive real-time position reports around the world. The Air Inc. direct flight tracking is made possible through collaboration with FlightAware via their new MLAT technology and extensive ground station network. Embraer Executive Jets released its 10-year market outlook for the business aviation at MBAA 2015. The company forecasts a global demand of 9,100 new business jets worth $259 billion. This is the total market opportunity to be serviced by all manufacturers. Arion CEO Doug Nichols announced plans for the manufacture of the AS2 supersonic business jet at MBAA 2015. The first flight of the Ariane AS-2 is planned for 2021 and certification by the FAA in 2023 with entry into service that year. The U.S. House of Representatives passed the two-tier U.S. Commercial Space Launch Competitiveness Act. It represents the most significant modernization of commercial space policy and regulatory legislation since the original 1984 Act, according to the Commercial Space Federation. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Hartzell Propeller has introduced a new five-blade composite swept tip prop specifically designed to maximize performance for the Pilatus PC-12 fleet. The 2016 model PC-12NG will feature the new five-blade 105-inch diameter composite propeller as standard equipment. The new propeller is also available as a retrofit for the Pilatus PC-12 fleet.
Hartzell says that thanks to the five-blade Hartzell propeller, the 2016 PC-12 NG cruises five knots faster, climbs to a cruise altitude of 28,000 feet 10% quicker, and has a 50-foot reduction in total takeoff distance. They also claim it's highly swept airfoil, reduces flyover and cabin noise, and its blades are certified for unlimited life. Hartzell says its propeller is five to ten times stronger than Beechwood and Sprucewood core propellers. Stronger materials equals thinner, wider airfoils that optimize performance. Further, they say it has a nickel cobalt leading edge with a stainless steel mesh erosion screen for durability and FOD protection. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.